Hi folks, this is Jay. We are now visiting an open garden in West Forth. Actually, this is a new addition to the open garden program. Uh, we are at the Pipe Creek Garden with the owner and gardener, Sue and Roger. Can you say a quick hi? Yeah. Hello. Hi. Hello, everybody. I'm happy to be part of the open gardens. Yeah. So can we join you on a walk through your garden? For sure. For yeah. sure. I would love it. Yeah. So I will follow you. Okay. Yes. Well, we'll come around this bed that faces the street. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, this is so welcoming. You have this bridge. Uh, this is the Pipe Creek, right? Pipe which, Creek. Yeah, which uh, is that your garden named after. And you have this bridge with the uh, container at the end, which just make this so welcoming. Yeah. Yeah, so, we enjoy the bridge. Um, mm -hmm. And the planters, I've been doing them for a few years. This is an exceptional year for flowers, it yeah. seems like to me. Uh -huh. um, they've really blossomed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, wonderful. So people will be surprised as they enter your garden because they cannot really see uh, too much from the, uh, from the street. But once they drive up your, or walk up your driveway, they, I'm sure everyone will be, be amazed by this stunning, stunning hillside garden. So, so this is a more like a sunny area. Uh, um, yes. uh -huh. It's sunny. At when, some point. Yeah. When I first planted the hostas, <laughs> it was more shady, but uh -huh. we've had to take down some trees. Uh -huh. But the hostas are still surviving. Yeah. But uh, you can see, people can see the, the color is just unbelievable. And we have this kind of a path in the middle of this hillside garden. It's a winding path with, uh, I would say, uh, mostly perennial, a mixed uh, border. Almost all perennial, uh -huh. um, a few um, annuals interspaced, but mm -hmm. not that many. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's make a pause here so I can show people the view. But this is just stunning. Yeah. So this is, um, maybe the viewer cannot really tell, uh, but uh, uh, right. yeah, right. uh, this is on a hillside. And it's, I mean, it's a gen, gentle slope. So I know it's not easy to construct and maintain a hillside <laughs> garden. So I can definitely <coughs> appreciate all the work uh, went into uh, creating this very beautiful garden. Yeah. So uh, tell me what is your favorite uh, plant in this area? What really brings you joy? Oh, wow, that's a hard thing to say. Um, yeah. <laughs> I love the day lilies. I have uh -huh. um, many different varieties of oh, different yeah. colors. Uh -huh. um, I love hostas. Mm -hmm. I love um, the shades of green and uh -huh. shade gardens, all the different shades of green. Yeah. Um, I have a lot of cone flowers. I guess I love all flowers. Yes, I can tell. This is such a colorful display. It's really cheerful. And uh, I know, Roger, you are a metal worker, so you made or repurpose many of the metal objects or yes. uh, things, things in the garden. So those uh, landscape lighting, is that the way you call it? Yes, uh, it was handmade by me. Yeah, uh-huh, with metal. they stainless steel. All stainless steel, uh -huh. never rust. Yeah, you have them throughout your garden. It's quite unique and you use them in this kind of a repetition. So it brings different area of your gardens uh, into uh, uh, one piece. It's just uh, it's so nice and provide a different color as well as uh, texture to your garden too. And we see uh, this is uh, like a, do you call this an arbor? Yes, or, an arbor. Yeah, you made that yes. yourself. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. So tell me a little bit uh, uh, behind this uh, area. Yeah. So well, you had the climbing uh, roses. Right? Yes, we planted climbing roses uh, on either side. So, yeah. So, uh, so you want to hold the microphone? Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we, we planted the climbing roses just a year ago in spring. Uh -huh. And last year they reached all the way up to the top. Oh, wow. um, yeah. And uh, uh -huh. we need to train them this year. They've been kind of growing a little wild. But, uh, yeah. Um, lovely. I love yeah. building things. And this is a really, really nice view. And you can sit here right. smelling the roses while hearing the sound of the soothing water and enjoy the beautiful garden. It's just uh, such a, <clears throat> bring you so much joy. Exactly. Yeah. So you have the echinacea and bee balm. Yeah, this uh. is bee balm. And I've been getting a lot of the um, 
uh, hummingbird um, flies. Oh, I see you have quite a bit of the moss, the hummingbird yeah, moss. moss. Yeah, oh, they're very active today. Yeah, the bees are very active too. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is just stunning. So that'd be a bajilla in the back, right? Yes, the it's a wajilla. Uh -huh. It was um, very pretty this spring, all With the um, pink, pink. Pink flower. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is stunning. Yeah. And then alongside of it, I have a hibiscus and a baptiza up there, which is blue. Mm -hmm. Um, these are on this side. We have all cone flowers and daylilies, sunflowers, mm -hmm. black-eyed wow. Susans. Yeah, this is just stunning. Thank yeah. you, thank you. Yeah. So let's walk towards. So we are we are almost going to. Uh, we're walking towards the top of the hill, and then we'll take a look back, and you will say, oh, the, the, I mean, how magnificent the garden really is." We enjoy it. Oh yeah, this is so wonderful. Yeah. The color. Yeah. And I had no real plan when I started. Uh -huh. um, it just planted. Yeah, but this, um, I mean, the outcome is just unbelievable. It's such an incredible uh, garden. Yeah, I'm really surprised. Yeah. Thank you. So you have additional garden area uh here right yeah this is a more shady area down through uh, here uh -huh. um this time of day it's sunny but um most of the day um this is a shade garden mm -hmm. um this is one of the first gardens that i planted probably 14 years ago so i see you have different variety of hosta and japanese and japanese anemone yes so those are those are brunera brunera right? uh -huh. jack frost brunera jack and, uh, um, which the deer don't like, so I try to... Because they have the fuzzy leaf. Exactly. Yeah. Is that a hellebore? Yes, it is. Uh -huh. And that was a uh, pink flower, and it blooms early, early in spring. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you have some of the ginger, too. Yes, uh -huh. and the ginger I love because it's it spreads nicely, but it's easy to pull out if you yeah. don't want it. And they have this it's glossy uh, texture. I mean, they just... Diff, they, they, they just prevent, provide a different texture yes. than other foliage. Like that the, was my goal, actually, when I planted that, uh -huh. to give some different textures in this yeah. area. Oh, yeah. This is very, very beautiful. So let's go over to the other side of this garden area. I want to show the viewer something. So uh, the thing really stands out here is this container area. Roger, uh, uh, this is something quite special. So, so you have the nasturtium growing in the container, but this whole container and the, do you call this the place or? The base of a the light base. tower. And yeah. I believe these light towers were off the Father Baker Bridge when they tore it down. Oh, wow. And I bought them from a friend of mine mm -hmm. and the light posts in the driveway, um, I made from these. Oh, wow. I took everything apart, mm -hmm. squeezed everything and made it smaller. Uh -huh. And <clears throat> cut them down. They were 28 foot long. Wow. And uh, the light posts I made, uh -huh. um, all custom on the property because I, I like building stuff. Oh, I can tell. <laughs> so this is something you repurpose and reuse yes. and recycle. They were just laying in the woods. Uh -huh. um, so I decided we yeah, needed I, to make planters. I just love this idea. Not only this is a stunning, stunning uh, uh, planter, but you're also reusing them rather than let them just rot in the wood or land in the landfill. Yes, they're exactly. having a second life. Exactly. It also adds so much character to our garden. This is really, really unique. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I like the height in the garden. It just gives you something to focus your eyes on, mm -hmm. and then you, once you focus that, you can take in all the other plantings. Mm -hmm. This is one of the places where I do have annuals growing. Yes, yes. Yeah, and I particularly love the nasturtium. They're yes. edible and yeah. they have this very, how do I say this? They move along with the breeze. Yes. So they add on just some, a little bit of movement. Yes. Very graceful. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I, I love them also. Plus, they're an older flower that my grandmother used to grow. Oh. And yeah. I learned most of my gardening way back as a teenager from uh -huh. my grandparents. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. And another thing I noticed is you have this uh, garden art. What are these? <laughs> uh, just bowling balls. Yeah. Just to 
just bowling balls. Bowling balls. So you, so you reuse the bowling ball and made them into almost like a gazing ball yeah, in little, your garden. Little, little, yeah, little bowling garden. Oh, um, this is very, very fun. Yeah. So now we are reaching the very top of the hearside garden area. So now let's go out to the driveway and take a take a look from the other view. This is just stunning. Thank stunning. You. Yeah. So I think we have more visitors. Do you want to say a quick hi or, <laughs> or we, we can walk? I will. They'll be fine. Okay. So oh. yeah. now we are walking down here and uh, we see we have this kind of a more shaded garden area closer to the house. And uh, then this is another look at the stunning, stunning hillside garden. So those are the lampposts. Also, you uh, reuse the building yes, material. Yes, yes. Wow. Those are all custom made you by know. you. <laughs> then you'll never find another one in this world. Except yeah. Here. Yeah. Oh, they're so beautiful. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, in addition to the hillside garden area, you have another, actually quite large of area on the other side of the house where you have a pond, right? Exactly. Yeah. That, um, was created, it was a marshy area when we built the home and decided to um, build a berm, re retain the water, and we love the pond. And it's, oh, yeah. it's spring fed. Oh yeah, you mentioned. So it's very fresh water. So it's, it's fed by two spring, right? That's right. Okay. Yeah, so I think we can get a very good view of the pond from, from above here. So let's do that. So it used to be connected with the creek. Uh, at yes, one, it just uh, ran off into the creek. Uh -huh. Look at the view. It's so stunning. So this will be a more shaded area. Yes, yes, and, uh, for sure. Yeah. So let's, all these gardens up here are shaded almost uh -huh. all day long. Yeah, let's walk down the stair and uh, uh, take a closer look at the pond. I really do love this fountain. Oh, do you call this a fountain? Yeah. 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 So you're not only you're bringing movement, you're also bringing sound. To this area so well, just, uh, that was put in to aerate for the fish we used to oh, have fish wow. in there so there's a so, so they do have another purpose too yeah. unfortunately the wild animals have eaten uh, all our fish yeah <laughs> i can yeah i can understand yeah so uh, so the viewer can see there are more of the custom made uh, landscape lighting that uh, roger made himself throughout this pond area they did just uh, such a nice touch <sighs> So this is also the creek, right? Yeah, the Pike Creek. It's a runoff from Casanova Creek. No. Oh. Uh -huh. It is actually spring-fed from about two miles up the road. Oh, okay. It runs down to uh, to Casanova. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, this is so tranquil. Yeah. And one thing I notice here is uh, close to the pond, at the base of some of the tree, you have the moss growing. Those are quite quite stunning actually yeah let's get a closer look and they're uh, all natural they just appeared <laughs> yes but this is very beautiful i was just talking with another visitor i said to him this looks like what they do in the japanese side garden oh, right. and it's very very high maintenance to get this kind of a naturalistic uh look yeah but this just happened here it just happens yeah, yeah. i try not to walk on it because yeah. i want it to thrive yeah oh definitely so this would be another repurposed uh, building component as part of the uh, container now right. with to, to showcase the hostel. This is such a such a nice uh, touch. So this is the view of the pond from the other direction. So now let's walk towards the shed and uh, take a look at the shed over there. And we and the viewer might be able to uh, catch a little view of the hillside garden 
uh, in the background. So you can see where we are standing is a little bit lower than the other area. So now we are getting very closer to the shed. Um, so Roger, tell us about the shed. Well, this shed was the first structure built on the property when we bought it. Uh -huh. And I took all the uh, hemlock trees from the property, took it to a mill, mm -hmm. and had all the wool wood milled. And this whole shed is all rough cut lumber from off the property. So there was no purchased wood? So no, it's no. all the so So it's made entirely from the wood that you 99, harvest, 99%. So you harvested from your property. Yes. Which yes. is amazing. And tell me, what are those? Yeah. Um, that's uh. what they call a barn quilt. Uh -huh. um, you'll see them as you drive through the country. Uh -huh. um, they're very popular right now. Uh -huh. But originally, they were um, people would put them up if they were quilters oh. to let the, the public know that they do quilting. So you are a quilter. I am oh. a quilter. Yeah. How um, wonderful. I love quilting. Yeah, that's. So that's the other passion of yours. It yeah. is, uh -huh. and Roger actually did all the painting on this. Oh, wow. Um, it's, it's really stunning. Labor of love. Yes. Uh -huh. And I was told uh, you are the gardener. He just does the yard work here. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes. Well, he does the hardscaping, all yeah. the rocks. Uh -huh. Well, we worked on the rocks together. But mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, oh, this is just this, this is a stunning garden. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so again, we're at Pipe Creek Gardens by Sue and Roger. So this is a new addition to the open gardens in West Falls, New York, which is just uh, outside of, between East Aurora and Orchard Park. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. this is really a, a spectacular garden. Thank, thank you, you for sharing your thank garden you. with me. We, yes, we appreciate you. it and thanks for coming. Yes. Thank you.